Development of drones uh, will happen because you cannot stop the progress. Drones literally give us a new perspective in the sense that when we look at things from above, uh, you can see that there are thousands of new applications which could be put into use. Vodafone already provides connectivity to over 65 million objects that aren't mobile phones. For example, in the automotive sector, energy and utilities and consumer goods. Uh, and in the future, there will be more and more uh, applications for uh, these uh, devices. But at the same time, an advantage could create a lot of disadvantages. So I think we, um, we can help in, in quite a few different ways. I think this morning was a good example where we convene the industry and stakeholders. And I think one of the things we can do is facilitate that, that discussion. We believe it's important to have three objectives in mind. First, that we're required by the nature of the drone operation. For example, if it's to be flown beyond line of sight, the drone should be fitted with a SIM card. This will ensure the electronic identification of the drone facilitate compliance with no-fly zones, for example. It will also enable a registration scheme for drones to be set up and allow the identification of drones in flight, which will be very important for enforcement purposes. Second, we think it's important that Spectrum regulatory authorities ensure there are no barriers to the use of licensed Spectrum for drones, either existing 4G Spectrum or in the future 5G Spectrum. And finally, we think it's important that the mobile sector is engaged as part of the implementation of these rules. So by taking these measures, policymakers can ensure the safe and secure operation of drones in the interests of businesses and consumers alike. And if there's such a high demand for drones, we have to ensure that the operations really um, uh, are clear. And um, also in terms of the spectrum that we use, we need to be sure of how we do this.